hi so i got this order to make five pieces of this gorgeous looking black fascinator with a bed cage and i decided all right why not record it and show my dearest subscribers that is you how to make it so before i proceed this is Inkechi from The Vents and I would like to welcome you to my channel if it's your first time. Please do ensure you click the subscribe button and stay tuned. Here are the materials we'll be needing. Our candle with our electric glue gun. Then our bed cage which has already been done. This is in our fascinator class too, how to make that. We have our ubu gum, our needle and thread matching to the material you're using, remember. Then our Alice band, this is like the average sized Alice band. Then this is our molded fascinator. We already have a video of this. You can check the link below the description. That's bias, measurement tape, that's some flower pieces, um, feathers, and um, the material that's already been cut out to so the size of the molded cap. Alright, so let me show you how I got the measurement of the material. That material I'm using is actually called the shining pulley. So I took my measurement tape from inside there, like so, round inside there, okay? And once you get that measurement, which was I think 13, I can see that clearly as I'm doing a voiceover right now. So you measure it the same material and you cut it out. Now that material is shining pulley. So the next thing is to fix your Alice band. Now before I fix my Alice band, I actually get my dummy head, mannequin head, to know exactly the position where I would fix it. And then I begin sewing. Keep watching and learning. If you don't know how to mold with pad, please do check the description of this video below and you will see the link directing you to my video on how to mold a fascinator with pad. Okay, now the next thing to do is to cover up our fascinator with our shiny pulley material. And remember, I'm sure you'll be saying it after me. We do a what? North, south, east and west. Yeah, you got that. If you don't know this, just if you watch the video on how to mold with pad, don't worry, you'll be following us in the next video shouting not south, east and west. Now before we proceed, I would be giving a free training on how to make this Ankara hand fan with the earrings the video of the <laughs> brooch didn't come out well but anyway i'll be giving a free training of both the hand fan and the earring in the defend craft academy reception so you do want to go to the description of this video and click on the link to join as soon as possible back to our video so we're done with um putting our pulley material to make our black fascinator with bed cage the next thing we're going to do is to use our razor and cut off the excess material okay so we're going to be doing this all the way around keep watching and then with that done we take our bias and we're going to put it at the edge as usual to cover up the joint the foldings that was done so we're going to be doing that all the way around Keep watching and learning. That done, it's time to get all accessories and put upon our black fascinator with bed cage. Okay, so this is the way we attach our bed cage. The bed cage has already been sewn. As I told you before, we have a class in the Vent Craft Academy which shows you how to do a bed cage perfectly well. You want to go down to the description of this video and click on the reception link so you get to know more about that. Okay, so.
Did you notice my change of clothes? Huh? Don't mind me sometimes. As a mother of two, you can get so engaged in some other things that you have to stop for the day and continue the next day. But anyway, it gives me pleasure each time to bring out a video for you and you know and your comments oh no they keep me going really when I remember that I'm helping someone out there to make a living um, assisting someone out there to get occupied and do things for themselves I just keep on going so thanks once more my dearest subscriber and those of you just joining thank you so much and please do click the subscription button below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my lovely trainings so right now I'm sewing the bed cage to the fascinator base and that is the way I sew it. Remember when I'm sewing I always ensure that the part that is underneath since it's not going to be covered I take the needle close to the thread that is coming out so that it's not visible. Since I'm going to cover the top I don't really mind I can just sew it big and large since I will finally put the flower piece on it. All right, keep watching and learning. So if you did notice the change of cloth before I said it, do let me know in the comment section below. Have you liked this video yet? Have you clicked that thumbs up? Oh, just let me know how much you like it. The more thumbs up I see, the more I know people are loving this video. All right, keep watching and learning. Okay, so once I'm done, I actually take a rubber band to hold it to make it to lap better. Okay, the next thing I do is the flower piece. I'm checking how it's going to be. And you know the stock that is coming out? I use my lovely cutter. I so love this cutter. <laughs> so I use it and I cut it. It doesn't take time to cut anything. Bam! And it's off. So I cut it like so. Sometimes if you cut it, my peel off a bit and the pieces would start to separate so what you do is get the wrap that was wrapped on the small piece that was cut out and wrap it back around the flower piece so it holds them all together or you can use a new um, masking tape and do that again the choice is yours all right so that's the way I'm placing my flower you can place yours anyhow depending on your design as always I say be creative all right okay so oh yeah you can see the pieces are falling off oh my okay so can you see I'm showing you exactly what I did to fix mine up all right so just watch and learn how it's done I'll be back So I'm holding up the stock first, that white um, thing that is sticking out there. I'm going to hold it first with my needle and thread before I start sewing the flowers. Keep watching and then. okay so now I'm sewing it now when you're sewing your flower piece what you do is um, the same way underneath since I don't want any thread to be sewn, shown I sew it close to where I brought out the last thread but when I come to the flower I open up the petals and take out my needle so if you open up the petals what happens is that the thread up is hidden also so your work appears neat and lovely so my dear subscribers or everyone watching, keep 
watching and learning. So in case you got stuck in any part of this video, please do let me know in the comment section below and I would guide you through because most some of the things that we're done, I already have videos for them so I can direct you on what to do and um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now time to place all my other little accessories on my on the black fascinator with bed kit. Okay, keep watching and learning.
Okay, so I left this rubber band like a day and removed it and voila! The black fascinator with bed cage is ready for my clients. And you can see, you can actually take up the um, fascinator veil. That's why I made it full like that. So you can leave it down or you take it up. If I wanted it to lap fully, I would have sewn it down. But I want it to be able to go up and come down. Alright, thanks for staying with me to the very end of this video. See you in my next video.